First up today, the Chinese mainland recorded 22 new cases on Saturday, 12 of them locally transmitted. Seven of the domestic cases were in Dalian and Shenyang in the northeastern province of Liaoning. The other five were in Beijing. All of them are people who had contact with earlier confirmed cases. The Chinese capital is stepping up efforts to control the outbreak. CDTN's Wang Qiwei starts us off. Sounding the alarm bell again in the country's capital. 13 locally transmitted cases have been confirmed in the last two weeks in Beijing. Nine of them in Shenyi district, where the airport is located. Shenyi is now in a coronavirus wartime state, with two villages declared medium risk areas. It's launched a mass testing campaign and it's limiting the movement of some people. We have strict management and control procedures for those who have tested positive or had close contact with the cases. But before we find out the source of the infection, we need mass testing. That will help us identify high-risk areas. A district official says there are 111 test sites. By 3 p.m. Sunday, more than 830,000 people had been tested. 390,000 people have had their results all of them negative. Beijing is cancelling big gatherings such as sports events and temple fairs. An application for major events will also be strictly reviewed. Public venues such as cinemas, libraries and museums in the city have been told to operate at only 75 percent capacity. Although the pandemic is mostly under control in China, sporadic outbreaks continue. And a major test will come in February with the Chinese New Year when hundreds of millions of people are usually on the move. Beijing has told civil servants to stay in the city from January the 1st until the holiday, and it's asking the public to avoid unnecessary travel. Wang Qiwei, CGTN.